Alright, this is the second part of this D858CB tune-up. Yeah, the D858CBs, I really feel, are the best. Their biggest drawback is they do have a relay that clicks. Yeah, that's a little annoying. But today we're going to go over a few of these tune-up things, and I'll give you some examples of here of how this works. Now, I've tuned this up on my bench using all my test equipment. I'll get some audio in here. You can hear channel 40. I'm just using up a little uh, behind the antenna here on my taste test station and um, yeah that's enough to bring in the static. Alright so if you're gonna try to work on your radio be aware that there's electricity and high voltage in there so you have to be respectful. And also, don't try to tune up your radio unless you have these guys. These are called ceramic tip screwdrivers. You don't want to get a too small of one or too large of one. What happens if you use the wrong size, you come in here and you tune these t cans and it will crack the iron core of these. Or a metal screwdriver will also throw them off because as soon as you remove the screwdriver, it's not tuned. So it's very important that you have a one millimeter tip. Pretty small. So yes, please do not attempt this without using the proper tools. These are very inexpensive. Yeah, you can find these at Amazon for five or six bucks. They're great to have around. Okay, hopefully you can hear the static, and I'm just going to go over what I do real quick. This isn't going to be a full, full thing. But back here, you're going to see the receive strip. Over here, you're going to see a dual can. So I'll kind of name these out. Back here, you don't have to worry about these guys and this one. This is for your noise limiter. So I start off with this guy right here. And let's see if you can hear it. Yeah, this is a very broad band. So you just bring that up to about where it's at. Now this double can here, what you're gonna do is go to channel one and tune this guy. You hear that? So there's a definite peak right there. Then you move your radio to channel 40. Ish. 39 works. You'll get up to 40. And you do the other can. Hear that? Alright. Then you move back here to the filter can. You hear that? A definite peak peak right there. And then the one right next to it. Alright. And then there's one right here for receive. Not the first one in the front, that's for transmit, but the second one in the back. You're gonna hear a real sharp sh shift here. This one's real tight. Alright. Yeah, that pretty much is it for the receive side. Now over here in the PLL circuit, yeah, you don't want to mess with this too much. These dual cans over here are for the, the end gate, so you don't really need to worry about these guys. And this guy here, yeah, you don't want to mess with the PLL tuning. But this last can over here, you can peek it. And right now I'm on channel 40, and you'll you'll hear it. See how it fades away? So just keep it on the peak. All right, let's go over um, the transmit side. So the transmit side's a little tougher to do, but with sideband and a and a good audio. You tune this guy here first, 
and then these dual cans here you'll see these are just the opposite so the first one's for channel 40 and the second one is for channel 1 and then over here basically the last two adjustments are for your 27 megahertz cutoffs and these guys uh I, I tune these with a sideband two-tone generator, but you can also just whistle into your mic and get a good sideband peak. All right. Yeah, that's uh, just kind of covers the surface. But uh, for some of you guys that have radios that are not in tune, yeah, that will really help. I'll do one more video and that will be tuning the sideband offsets without proper test equipment because if your sideband is off frequency, eh, just no good. Alright, 73's, boost.